love back and happy holidays. Today is December 26th and I wanted to shoot a little what I got for Christmas haul like I have done previously. I feel like I've done it twice now but also I could be imagining things. I got some really cute stuff this year and I'm really excited to like share it. I kind of do want to bring the dogs in here though so let me see if I call them and see what happens. Charlie has come to say hello. Hello, Charlie. Okay, he likes to kiss. Charlie loves to kiss. Say hello, Charlie. Charlie, look. This is for Lily. This is for Lily. It's for the toot toot. Oh, Charlie's being so patient. Daddy! Hi, Lily! No, no, no. Here you go. No, it's for the tootie toot. It's for the tootie toot. It's for Lily. I know you've been patient, but Lily, get it! Lily! Get it! Get it! Where's. Daddy, come! Lily! Then he leaves. Lily. Oh, thank you, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Okay. Come sit on me. You want to sit on me, Lily? He likes to sit on my lap. Come on, I know you can do it. Yes, sir. That might be all we get of the dogs coming to me. Okay, let's get this video started, actually. So, again, I wanted to wish everyone a happy holidays. I hope that whoever celebrates Christmas, that you had a great Christmas for whatever holiday you celebrate. I hope you had a great one. Uh, I got a lot of goodies that I'm really grateful for and I just kind of wanted to share them. So, I hope that this is somewhat entertaining. So, without further ado... Without further ado, let's get started, yay! <laughs> it's the first gift that I can share that's automatically on me and not in the couch in front of me uh, is this necklace. This is a Tiffany necklace that my dad got me. Uh, he's always really kind and splurges a little on Christmas and gets us some like Tiffany stuff, which was kind of his little tradition. Years ago, I feel like this was almost maybe the first Tiffany thing he ever got me, but I'm not sure. He got me this bracelet and I wear it every day. I do not take this thing off of me. Maybe last year he got us some matching earrings, um, but I need to see if I can like clean it with alcohol or something because one of them like really irritates my ear if I wear it. And this year he got us some matching necklaces. And I don't know if you could see it very well, but basically it's just the heart and what is on the back of the heart, which is just like the Tiffany. Tiffany? The Tiffany information. Um, and I really like this necklace. I like things that are simple and kind of dainty. Um, so I really like this. And now I have something else that I can keep on me for all time. <laughs> gift that I'd like to share is this teeny tiny carry-on luggage. Like, look at this thing. Like, it's so cute and freaking small. The brand is Cowpack. My mom thought it would be like a good, like, quick trip sort of luggage. And honestly, <laughs> I'm kind of glad that she got me a luggage like this. Um, or I guess just a luggage in general because I brought two luggages with me, like a small one and maybe like a medium sized one. I know you can just hear him macking on his bone. I really apologize. I'm just happy that he's chill right now, but I have 
presents from my family to bring back to my boyfriend on top of all of my big fluffy winter clothes and all the new stuff that I got that I need to bring back with me to Dallas. So having an extra luggage now uh, seems phenomenal <laughs> to fly back with things. I've never had a luggage all to myself that I can actually lock. Um, so that's cool. So here is what it looks in, like inside and maybe I'll switch up the camera angle to give you guys a better. First of all, this is what's happening right next to where I'm filming. Um, but hey, as long as he's busy. Anyway, um, here's the luggage. So here you have this thing that can keep whatever's here intact. There's also this little zip space that I can sneak little tiny things into. Um, and I don't know if this opens and I can stick more like in here or what that's about. But then down here, you have pockets for thingies. Um, you have this big part that unzips to reveal more pockets. So like this whole thing is free. Um, and then another zipper. Um, so yeah, it's got like a bunch of nooks and crannies that I feel you could pack depending on how tight you roll things up. You could pack maybe like a couple of outfits in here and toiletries and stuff like that. So I feel like it's good for like a weekend sort of getaway. All right, next gift. We are doing a rapid fire Christmas gift clothes edition, okay? I can't say that I will try everything on because that takes a lot of time, but I will show you the clothes. <laughs> So first, we have this really cool Eddie Bauer jacket that my mom purchased for me. She works at Eddie Bauer. Um, it's got a nice hood, and uh, I really like the blue color. Um, I especially like that I'm getting all this natural light because it is showing off the color very nicely. I've been wanting a jacket kind of like this. I borrowed my mom's that's similar to this style. Um, and I liked it. <laughs> so I'm really glad I have one of my own now, um, especially now that I leave early in the morning and it's cold. Second is another Eddie Bauer thing of a similar color. This one feels more like a periwinkle though, to me. I love me a quarter zip fleece because it's, it's gonna keep me warm and I don't feel like I'm like layered in a bajillion things of clothes. Um, could wear a cami under this if it's really cold or I could just wear it like this because it's fleece, super soft. And I like the texture. It looks kind of like mountain slope, sort of. The next article of clothing, and my thing is falling off. It's fine. I don't think he'd let me wear a hat again. I'm really scared to do that. I think my hair looks kind of okay though. Um, the next article of clothing is this adorable sweater. Look at this loft sweater. Look at all of these colors. Ah, oh, I'm in love. I love all of these colors. And the sweater just feels super soft. There's Charlie. I was worried about you. I was worried about you. But yeah, um, really loving this sweater. Um, has a lot of my favorite colors on it. Sort of my color palette. So really thankful for this and really excited to wear it. The next article of clothing, it's from, you guessed it, Eddie Bauer. And listen, let me tell you something about me. I love me a mock neck, okay? A mock neck is not quite a turtleneck, but it kind of inches up your neck, like around here. I don't know why, but I think I slay that look. And this beautiful, like, is it, what is the, what is the term? Cerulean? Cerulean blue? Isn't that what it is? Uh, it kind of is giving cerulean, but it's a little darker maybe, not as bright as cerulean blue. This is artist talk, by the way. Um, I feel like this lighting is actually not giving the color as well. It also looks a little green. I don't know, but it's it's more blue in my opinion than green. But I love this whole thing is like fleece. 
I don't, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. I love fleece, I love soft clothes, okay? Next articles of clothing are from, you guessed it, Eddie Bauer. They're pajamas. Um, there's this cute pink top and it goes with the pink trees on these pants. And it's that sort of like, it's called waffle texture. And my father's calling me. Um, so with that, we're gonna hold. <laughs> That was a long intermission. The last article of clothing that I got, it is like a shacket, but I use it mostly as a jacket. And look at these colors. I mean, so cute. It's, it's like kind of gray, black, pink, white kind of moment. And I really love it. So that is the end of the clothes section. Let's get to some of the smaller tidbits and things. My sister got me a couple of pieces of jewelry. I've recently grown to like the Pura Vida brand. So she got me this like rose gold little bracelet. So there's that. Uh, my sister got me these handmade necklaces um, from, I will share this small business. Focus, there we go. I know that this style has been like super popular um, recently, like this sort of style of bracelet that's like these little like discs, I wanna say. I don't really know the real term for them. I think they're all cute. So this is probably the most thoughtful gift my sister's ever given me. Um, so I really appreciate it. And she got my mom uh, a personalized one for her too, which I thought was cute. So my parents recently took a well-deserved trip to New York and they got me this really cute pink cap. And I am a cap girly. Uh, being on set, I have made it my thing to always wear caps. Um, I just like that my hair is out of my face. If I'm outside, the sun's, you know, not hitting my eyeballs. I don't know, it's, it's become my thing. And I do love me some pink and I love New York. So very happy with this cap, thank you. The next thing I got was such a surprise. These are ColourPop makeup brushes. I have like slim picking like elf brushes that I bought because I was like, I think I might need this one and I might need this one. I like got like the bare minimum of brushes that like I could need. And to have like a real like makeup brush set, <laughs> to have a real makeup brush set is so cool. Cause I've always like wanted one. Um, and this has like a bajillion brushes in it. Like it's all the brushes that you could ever want. Like what? That's crazy. Um, I haven't even like lifted this thing actually to look at all the brushes in there. So let's do that together. Holy crap. Oh, it's rose gold. Slay. Oh my God. I love this. So many choices for eye makeup brushes, which is a real slay. I don't know if they tell you what they're for or if she got rid of that paper that tells you because they have numbers on them and they usually say like what they're for. I don't know. I might have to like look up the guide to see what these numbers go for because like they actually have like specific uses. Um, so I like to make sure that I'm using them for what they're meant to be. Like a lot of these look like they could be eye brushes, but like one of these could freaking be for like concealer or something. I just don't know. Thank you, mom. I greatly appreciate this. And also ColourPop is like my favorite like eyeshadow brand ever. All right, moving on. Um, I wanted to share this really cute gift. Um, first though, cause it's on top of it. Um, so where my dad got this Tiffany necklace, um, was from like the landmark Tiffany store in New York. Cause again, they just went to New York and they gave like this really cute, like Tiffany freaking ornament or something. Here you can look at it if it'll show. It's so nice. So I'm taking this to put on my tree. <laughs> 
back in my apartment. But speaking of ornaments, my friend, my bestie, my sister, Yvonne, she texted me or she called me while in Dallas like two weeks ago. And she was like, girly, I just found the gift that is perfect for you. And I was like, oh, what does that mean? I didn't know where she was. I didn't know what she was doing. We had no time to meet before she had to go to China for a break. And she so sweetly uh, decided to mail this gift to my house here so I could open it on Christmas. And I was dying to know what this gift was. I opened it. It's a little friend's ornament. Look at this. Look at it. Yes, this is so me, Yvonne. You were correct. The show holds like such a strong place in my heart, like now more than ever because of Maddie. And I don't know. I also just like just finished Matthew Perry's memoir. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So thank you, Yvonne. The next gift was like the one thing that I like really, really wanted. Um, and it was a Lego succulent set. I have been seeing these ever since Lego started putting them out. And oh my God, I was like, this is so cool because I'm always so worried about my plants dying. I really like Legos and I thought that this would be a cute little like piece on my like living room table. Um, especially cause like the bright colors like would kind of be a little pop of color and like I wouldn't have to worry about them dying. Like, isn't that great? I don't know. I just think they're so cool. Um, so I am going to recruit my boyfriend to help me build this. We had a really fun time building Legos before we built my little friend set together. And so I would love to have his help again. Just throw on something on the TV and let us go a little crazy building this guy. So thank you, parents. I was very excited to open this and I'm excited to put it on my table, especially when the Christmas stuff comes down. Moving on to the itty bitty stuff. We have a pair of some airy socks that I believe my mom got for me. My dad, his whole thing is going to World Market and getting the chocolates and putting them in the stocking. So my dad found me the biggest coin I think I've ever seen. It's like almost as big as my face. And um, so I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> My sister's boyfriend got me a bunch of chocolates as well as this lemony bar of soap. I believe her boyfriend got me some dollar, dollar chocolates. He got me these, which I'm interested to try. They're called little like chocolate snowballs. Blend of caramel corn, cinnamon, and white chocolate. I will give them a try. Uh, I believe he got me a bath bomb, which I've also never tried. And I do have kind of a nice bath in my apartment. I also have one here that I could totally take a bath in. Um, so I'm totally down to try this. Um, I had a coworker get me bubble bath mix and I also was like, I kind of want to just slap a face mask on and get in a bubble bath. When I have time for this, I don't know, but I want to do it. Um, my dad got me the triple Toblerone. My sister's boyfriend got me box chocolates. Thank you very much. My godmother got me a very kind gift card that I will be using for office cubicle decor slash things that I need. <laughs> Cause I need them. Uh, my dad got me this cute Belgian milk chocolate ball with a marshmallow penguin inside. <laughs> So thank you, father. <laughs> my dad and his freaking thing. Uh, I think my sister's boyfriend got me a hot chocolate bomb. Never had one of these either. I've always been interested to try it. So I may try it while I'm here. Um, I'm trying to eat some of this stuff so I have less to travel with because <laughs> again, like I got this extra luggage, but I got, I got so much chocolate in here. I, I don't know who got me this. I'm assuming it came with the ColourPop brushes. 
I have a beauty blender and I have been needing a new beauty blender. So I am very happy about this because mine is like ripped. <laughs> My mom got me this really cute thing. I am very much like a person who, I, I have like, I, I made this for myself. It was a jar and I wrote like over 50 little like positive messages for myself. I did this like two years ago before I moved back uh, to SMU, like to continue college in person after the pandemic um, was kind of ending. Um, so I did this in like 2021 and I wrote me a whole jar of like positive messages to kind of like keep myself going. <laughs> um, so I, I'm like a sucker for that kind of like positivity stuff and those like, like sort of self help kind of vibes. And my mom got me this thing called mindful messages. That's like, we know how stressful and overwhelming life can be. Let these cards lift you up and bring the positive energy back into your life. You pick a card, you read it, embrace it, and live it. I think that's so cute. So I really like this and I'm gonna freaking, maybe I'll bring this to work and keep it on my desk or I'll just keep it handy uh, at home so I can remind myself when the times get tough because they do be getting tough out here. We are almost done. <laughs> um, I don't know who got me these. Um, I, I've never dug into like the gummies for like candy um so i'm excited to actually try these they're haribo uh watermelon and good thing they're not sour because i do not do sour um uh, but they're soft and sweet and i want to try it i don't know i'm i'm totally down to try it um so whoever got me that nobody told me <laughs> but i appreciate you um, my sister got me this interesting, uh, lollipop that looks like it has a galaxy inside of it, but it's cool looking. I think there's chocolate on the back. So, neato. Thank you. And the last thing is, again, my parents went to New York. I'm a girly who loves a pin. And this is like such a classic like New York symbol. I forget the store. Is it Macy's? I feel like it's the big Macy's that this like this like New York taxi like artistic drawing is in. And there were like cookies with this shape on it, like in this taxi shape with like the like royal icing on it or whatever. It's been a while since I've been to New York, but it is this taxi and it is I guess Mary Ellis. I don't know. It's it's adorable and I, I love it. So I'm really happy to have this pin and I'm gonna add it to my little collection and put it on my denim jackets like I always do. That is it for this video. I feel like I've talked so much, I haven't breathed enough. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you guys got plenty of wonderful things that you are enjoying this holiday season and taking well-deserved time off. In thinking about the new year, I, I actually haven't made any resolutions. I haven't even thought about it, to be honest with you. I don't quite know what I'd do. <laughs> it's, it's very weird, like, looking back on this year and just kind of seeing, like, everything that happened. Like, this was such a big year of change, and it's just, like, I feel like I need, like, a second to, like, really evaluate, like, everything. Like, to think that this new year is approaching, I feel like 2023 like just happened. Oh yeah, last night, uh, my parents and I were watching some stuff. I like had a moment, we, we were watching that new movie that came out, um, Leave the World Behind. Crazy cinematography, by the way. That cinematographer was having a field day with that movie, oh my God. But Kevin Bacon is in that movie. And I was thinking, I was like, no way has it been a year since the freaking Guardians of the Galaxy uh, special, Christmas special came out. Like, that feels like it was, like, recent. Like, like yesterday, like, I remember watching that in, like, on the same TV in my parents' bedroom. No way did that come out, like, a freaking year ago. Like, Oh my gosh, like this year just happened so fast. Like I, f I finished up college, I graduated, what? 
I moved like kind of officially to Dallas. What? Like, it definitely felt weird, like not being like done when everyone else was done with like finals and like going home for break, like early December. It felt weird, like my boyfriend being done with finals and like not having anything to do. And I was like, I still have to go to UNT. Like I got a job, what? I got a job, I'm like a working person now. I'm not just like a college kid, what? Like, I, there's so many things that happened this year. This year was so big and like overwhelming and I survived. I'm very proud of myself for that, that I survived. Like, I feel like this year just so many like big things happened. I'm like, what even are resolutions anymore? Like, what else can I like try to do? But at the same time, like you have to think about like, well, not every resolution has to be like freaking massive. Like, think about the small things. Honestly, if I have to think about resolutions, I would say I would like to actually, like, be better at self-care, especially now that I have this job. I've been really overwhelmed, like, the past few weeks with, like, the work and go home and do it all over again. Like, it is definitely a routine. Like, with college, I didn't really have, like, a routine because my classes were really like, especially towards the end, like super light. There was no studying. It was all just like projects and like, I don't know. Like my college experience was very different from some other people. Now that I have like the steady routine that I'm like, oh, I'm freaking out. Um, I want to be better about self care. Um, especially from how like stressed and overwhelmed I was kind of getting into this routine. That self-care includes like making fe like, like, per like meal prep. That includes meal prep. So that way I'm not freaking out later on and like needing to pack a lunch. Um, that includes like giving myself the time to like take a good shower. Like if I don't have to take a rushed shower, I feel like I've had self-care. That's giving myself time to like play games and relax and sleep enough. I have not been sleeping enough. It's also about going to the gym. Like I, I have a whole gym in my apartment. I really want to use it. It's really hard on days that I work in the office because when I come back after like an hour drive, like you would think, oh, like maybe go walk on the treadmill since you've been sitting for an hour. Me? Nah, bruh. That drive took so much mental energy that I'm just pooped. I'm pooped. I want to go and like turn my brain off and watch some dumb stuff. <laughs> like, I, I want to go home and lay down. <laughs> like, after burning all that mental energy at work and then the anxiety of driving being what takes me home. Like, oh. But I want to be better about it, especially now that I can work from home. And... Just go right downstairs and go to the gym. So I feel like that's going to be a big thing. I really want to get in more of a habit of going to the gym. I love going to the gym with my boyfriend because I feel like we get to hold each other accountable and it makes the gym more fun. Like getting that little like, you could do this, like give me one more. Like just that like vocal encouragement helps so much. And like who doesn't want a little smoochy smooch between sets? Like I do. <laughs> So just stuff like that. I, I think that that's kind of what I'm aiming for if I have to narrow down on a resolution. Um, I suppose another resolution could be I want to figure out like finances this year, just like budgeting. Like now that I'm like gaining like steady income that I've never really had before. Um, I want to take it seriously and I want to budget properly because that's important to me. That's kind of it for the most part. Uh, have you developed any resolutions? Cause I, that's all I got. But regardless, I hope that any resolutions that you set this year, any goals that you had set this year, that you were able to meet them. And I hope that resolution planning uh, comes a little easy for you going into the new year. I know that it can be stressful. Um, uh, this holiday time can be stressful, but we're all in this together. We're all only human and life 
is about growth and improving yourself day by day, year by year. And um, if you didn't meet your resolutions this year, that's okay. Life's hard, you know? I wanted to go to the gym more this year. I probably went less than 30 times. <laughs> so don't be too hard on yourself. There's always next year. Um, and see like how you could plan your resolutions sort of differently to give you a little more leeway if it's hard. Um, setting high expectations on yourself is not always the healthiest thing. So with all that being said, I think that's about all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays, happy new year, and I will see you whenever I see you, because I don't know what's gonna happen. Bye. <laughs>so close to your face now is the first <laughs>
Okay, it's fine. Let's not be angry. It's the holidays. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hey, he's pissed. Watch out. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. I'm out no more <laughs> There you go. Y'all traded successfully. You're welcome. Okay. Anybody who has two dogs, do you know do you know? <laughs> no! Lazy. <laughs> he suddenly gets like the urge to just like make out with your face. Okay. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I, 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 I want my I want my, my thing back on. Oh but he's coming. The menace. The menace is back. He won't let me wear a hat in my own house. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Charlie, back, you're in my spot, bro. You are in my spot. Okay. Now for some of the small things. Thank you. Oh, hi. Yeah.